Hey you guys, so it's uh, 6.02 a.m. Monday morning, the 24th of January and I'm going for a run. <laughs> so, I got assaulted. It's not a very easy thing to say. You know, you kind of understand what happened, but it's hard to say. Because if I'm going to say it now, especially if I'm going to say it publicly, then it's going to be true and nobody wants to face this kind of truth, right? So I'm going to tell you right now <laughs> so that you will not worry that I'm okay. Um, like, <laughs> what am I kidding? I'm not okay. Uh, I mean, physically. Physically, I'm absolutely okay. I just got a bruise on my leg. That's it. So what happened? I started to make videos to be more committed to sports um, and running because running is uh, one of the sports that I really love. It's like you ask me, oh, okay, like you have to lose weight or you have to get fit. What do you want to do? I would tell you running. Like I love jogging and I have a park nearby. So in the morning, I was waking up like at 3 a.m., uh, worked, and then at 6 a.m., 6.15, I was going out for a jog, then come back, take a shower, and continue working. It was a perfect routine. I was doing it occasionally. Then I decided to be more committed, so I started making a video for this channel that, yeah, cool, like I'm going jogging. And you can see that actually <laughs> on this video, I'm saying that I didn't feel safe because it's getting darker now in the morning so I didn't feel safe there in the park like there were different groups sitting inside the park there was the rat that was killing me it is kind of weird to run in a complete darkness in the park with weird people all around the smell of marijuana you know <laughs> but but yeah, I did it. I ran about three kilometers. Uh, I really hope I will be okay tomorrow. I will go do some meditation now. And yeah, keep you guys posted. And like this morning, when I made a video and I said, oh yeah, I, I don't feel safe, but like it, it's kind of bright. So I hope everything is fine because they're like at 6 a.m. There are a lot of people going to work there are uh, really a lot of people in the park there are some people jogging there are some people going by bicycle there are a lot of cars nearby and you know like i'm a smart person i'm not running in the darkness i'm not running in the middle of the park i'm always running near the road right so there is like a road there is a park that is going right next to it so i'm running here so just in case i have all those hundreds of cars to help me or whatever and I'm always like very conscious about the environment because you know it's still a park it's still kind of dark and I was thinking about buying some kind of a gun but you know you live in a foreign country you don't really know where to buy it, what to buy or whatever and you kind of always feel that now it's not gonna happen like it didn't happen for a week so it's not gonna happen and then started the second week and I'm running everything is good I I went outside even a little bit later so it was kind of bright you know there, there are a lot of cars there are bicycles passing me like the people going to work uh, so I'm running like through four parks like there are four different parts of the park and you need to cross the streets between them so okay, I'm standing like I passed already two parks. Uh, I'm standing to cross the street with two bicycles right next to me, like some gentleman going to work. And while I'm standing there waiting to cross the street, I see that there is like somebody weird on the other side. Like in that park, in the third part of the park, there's somebody sketchy, you know, like you cannot understand like if the person is drunk or not like he's walking weirdly and then he's like standing so he's not drunk i was even thinking that i need to ask these two guys so that are like a 
going here by bike to to wait for me and go with me but i didn't so i thought no it's okay like they're gonna pass i'm gonna pass like two seconds later or something so i should have asked i should have asked or now i understand that i should have gone a different way I should have turned, I should have turned back, I should have gone anywhere else but there. So now looking back at what happened, I think there are like a few things that I definitely should have done differently. So first, if I see a suspicious person there, I should have either asked this bicyclist to go with me, like wait for me, you know, and go past him together. Or if not asking for help, then I should have gone completely different direction. But, you know, like silly me thinking, oh, nothing's going to happen. Like, here are people, here are people and there are cars. Like, what's going to happen? I went <laughs> right past this person. So what happens, like, there in the park, you have like three ways where you can go. And you have like, I don't know, like, uh, here's the road with the cars. Uh, then you have the road where you can run. Then you have like street lights and trees. Then you have one more then again roll off the street lights and trees and then one more so i was going in the middle one this person was on the left one i go a little bit closer he goes to the middle one i go to the left one he moves again he moves again and at that moment i stopped i stopped and i started backing up so he starts speaking to me in spanish this was like a homeless person or something and he had a hand in his pocket showing me like he had a gun or a knife, you know, some kind of weapon. And like the stuff that he had in his pocket looked completely fake. So I'm not sure if he really had a weapon, but he put his hand in the pocket and started like getting close to me, telling me that he needs my cell phone. Like, you know, it's not even the idea to lose everything that I have on my cell phone, like all the information or to lose the cell phone itself. It's just the idea of injustice for me. like. Like, who are you and why would I ever give you my cell phone? Like, why do you think you can do it? <laughs> you know, this is what I had in my head. So at first I started like to calm him down. At that moment, I didn't have my headphones, obviously, because I took them off crossing the street when I saw this guy. Uh, so I started slowly backing up and like trying to do it calmly first. So. I started to speak to him in Russian, you know, saying like, oh, dude, like, I don't understand what you're talking, I don't speak Spanish, so whatever you want, just like, calm down and leave. And then he made a move, like, he made a sudden move forward, because I saw that he was like a little bit confused with, with the language that I started talking, because it wasn't even English, it was Russian. So he got confused, he got like a bag. And then, like, he wanted to move forward again. And at that moment, I ran. I ran, like, as fast as I could to the, to the street with the cars and started screaming for help. Like, I never screamed so loudly in my life, you know. And why I say I have a bruise on my leg? Because while I was doing this movement, he was trying to catch me. So he was trying to cut me. And he hit me with his foot to my leg when I was passing. So we mo me moved like this, and I went away. And I guess he didn't expect it, <laughs> so he didn't run after me. Uh, immediately after that, I saw more people running there. Nobody gave. I really thought with me screaming so loudly and then standing like this in shock on the corner, at least somebody will stop the car or at least somebody will step off their bicycle or somebody will stop walking come and ask what happened nobody did this was like another moment when i understood in my life that no one cares like this person could have been raping me in the woods and nobody would do anything like literally and like the thought of it was so scary and i remember i standing i was standing there uh, on the corner of the streets with a light and everything with a lot of cars passing by and I see this person going to the group of people across the street. And it was quite a, f quite a big group of people. So 
you know, like, okay, even if I gave him my cell phone, maybe he would want something else. Who knows, like, why he has a group of friends that are waiting for him. And uh, so I understood further, like, he and his friends were the ones living in those homeless houses that we have a lot in Santiago. So, yeah, uh, I didn't see any police cars and I didn't know the local phone number for the police but I live next to the police station so I ran as fast as I could like after this happened I ran immediately after that as fast as I could to the police station that we have nearby I gave them the description of the man I gave them everything like what happened but they didn't do anything like they literally didn't do anything they said oh this is kind of the patrol car thing and, like, they have three patrol cars standing outside of the police station. Um, I'm like, okay, well, there was no patrol car near the park, so I came here. And they're like, yeah, mm, okay, well, nothing happened to you? And I'm like, no, nothing happened to me. Like, I'm still here alive. Like, everything's good. And that's it. They didn't do anything. So I came home. I'm obviously crying. <laughs> because, you know, like, with all the emotions about what had happened... I woke up my husband and he went outside to look for the guy and he didn't find him. Uh, I guess he already went away because, you know, like he thought maybe that I called the police and we'll come back with the police or something. But I know that I saw him one more time later when I was pass passing by bus near this park. I know that I saw the guy one more time. And, you know, like even when you are saying that like, nothing's wrong with you because, like, physically you're okay. My cell phone is still with me. But I'm not okay. Like, I'm literally not okay. I still cannot go, not even to this park. I cannot even go to that direction without the fear of meeting that person or somebody else who would have, like, the same intentions. So... <laughs> yeah, I will have to think how to change my training routine because I cannot go for a run anymore. But at least from all of this, now I have these. So yeah. <sighs> you know, at least I'm happy that I got out of it as fine as I could have. <laughs> and I just want to warn you, like, all the ladies running out there, just be careful, have some weapon with you, if you can, run with a group, and, you know, just in general, stay safe. <laughs>